Mosaic Kids at home. We're here for another week. It's going to be so fun. Let's say hello. Give your friend a foot tap. <laughs> foot tap. Whoa, whoa. And can you give me a foot tap? Nice. <laughs> We're just saying hello without giving high fives. Hi, everyone. Today, again, at Mosaic Kids at home, we're going to act as if we were at church yes. with you guys. Yes. Because we are going to do the same things. We are going to have fun. We are going to worship God. We're going to learn a memory verse. We are going to learn about who yes. God is through a Bible story. Yes, yes, yes. And we're going to have fun. Yes. All right? <laughs> okay. And also, have fun. <laughs> yeah. Oh, don't forget that. Don't forget that. Here at Mosaic Kids, there's some really important stuff we got to remember. Mm -hmm. What do we need to remember? Hmm. Oh, I remember one. I remember okay, okay, one. Okay, 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 okay. We need to honor one another. Yep. yep. Okay? So, can you guys say it with me? On the count of three. One, two, three. Honor one, one another. another. So that means for your parents, we are going to obey them quickly, completely, and cheerfully. And we're going to also honor one another yep. and make sure that we are being respectful, being kind, to loving each glorious. other, all yep. those things. All right, number two. Number two is keep your attention on Jesus. Yes. Can everyone do that with me? Say, keep, keep my attention, attention on Jesus. Jesus. Yep, because that's yes. the whole reason we're here at Mosaic Kids at Home is to worship God and honor him and obey him and learn about him. It's all about Jesus here. It is. It's all about Jesus. And to be able to help us, we have number three. Numero tres. Keep your hands and your body to yourself, please. All right, so that we can be able to focus on Jesus and focus on what is happening, we want to make sure that we keep our wiggly arms and our wiggly feet to ourselves. Yep. It's just, yeah, all those things. You guys got it. All right. You you I think we're ready to start. Practicing. We're ready to start. Yes. Yeah. Here we go. Mosaic kids, get up on your feet. It's time to do some worship. We worship Jesus because he is so great. And he loves it when we dance and sing. Really, all worship is is reminding ourselves and telling God how awesome he is. So we're going to stand up together. We're going to remind ourselves and tell God how awesome he is by singing and dancing together. Are you ready? Here we go. Get up on your feet. The spark, the spark caught fire in my heart, and I can see it lighting up the dark. And now it's burning brighter than ever. It's down deep in my soul. The fire burning out of control. It's love, and I gotta let it show. It's changing my world for the better. So raise one hand high, throw your light in the sky. We're gonna keep it shining forever.
You guys, that was awesome to worship together. I love worshiping Jesus with you. Feeling a little sweaty? Yeah. Yeah, no, me too. A little warm. A little warm. That was hard work, but it was really fun. So fun. Love it. It's the best. You guys. And now, do you know what time it is? It is time for our silly challenge game. So silly. And today, it is called I'm so I mean, I'm, I can I go for a snack right now. Yeah. A little nibble. <laughs> yeah. So, here, here's how this is going to go. I'm going to think of something that's so yummy to eat. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be drawn on the screen right by Miss Emily. Yeah. And so, as, you, as it's being drawn, you're going to work together. And as soon as you guys think you know what it is, you're going to yell it at us so we can hear you, okay? So, you're going to say, I think it's a... Banana! Oh, oh. Mm. <laughs> banana sounds good. Banana, the little peanut butter or something. Mm. Oh, mm. <sighs> Yum. All right, are you ready to play? You guys all gotta work together to figure out what it is. When you when you think you know, shout it out. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Thing number one. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. What I'm thinking. is she thinking about, you guys? Let's see. Mmm. 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 Yummy. 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 What is that? What is it? What is it? I really love oh, that one right now. Okay. It's a hamburger! Ooh, yum. I love hamburgers too. All right, are we ready for another right, round? Here's another one. Okay, here we I go. Got, I got another one. I got another one. You got another one? one. Okay, really, really what's like she going to think about, you guys? What okay. is it going to be? She's thinking about it, and here it goes. Okay, after when you know, hamburger, you got to yell it out. I really want to eat what this after hamburger. What is that thing? Mm. That's awesome. I love that kind yeah. too. All right, one more. One more. Wait, right. can I think of this one? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I've got a really fun one. This is my favorite food of all time. Here we go. I'm thinking of a food. Hmm. What food am I thinking of? What is that? What is it? Yell it out. Okay, wait. Do you know? Do you like those same puppies? Ah, it's a Thanks for playing I'm So Hungry with me and Miss Jocelyn. We're gonna go get a snack. Yeah. <laughs> Kids, get up on your feet. It's time to say our memory verse. When you're up on your feet, say, Hoya! Hoya! Wow, Miss Emily, that's impressive. <laughs> All right, I think I heard them all say hi, y'all. Yeah. Um, it's time to do our memory verse. Our memory verse is from Joshua 1.9, and we should all know it by now because we've been mm -hmm. doing this at Mosaic Kids at Home for like three weeks at now, least three weeks, which yeah. is so awesome. So let's say it all together. Are you ready? Ready. Ready. Here we go. Joshua 1.9. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. And there, and there, and there, here and there, everywhere, wherever you go. Let's say it again. Okay, here, here, here we go. Joshua 1, 9. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Mosaic Kids! Oh, my favorite. It's time to get your finger out and make a big old squiggle.
a little comfy spot to sit. It's Bible time! We are spending time looking at the armor of God this month, and we are learning how we can put on God's armor to protect us against the fight between the good army, God's army, and the bad army, the enemy's army. We are on the good team. And when we wear the armor of God, it helps us fight. So today we're going to look at the next part of the armor of God. And to find out about it, we're going to look at a story from 1 Samuel 24. Here we go. So in this story, God has chosen a man named David to be the next king of Israel. But the old king of Israel named Saul, who does not really like David and doesn't want him to be the king. He's trying to actually hunt down David to kill him. But David keeps running away and hiding in caves and stuff so that he won't be captured and hurt by Saul. So one day, David was hiding in a cave. Then Saul came walking by and he had a big army with him but he separated from his army and he actually ended up going into the same cave that David was in but he didn't know that David was in there and so David was hiding in the cave and he kept very quiet and he did not tell Saul that he was in there he just waited until Saul was taking a rest and then he snuck up behind Saul and had a choice to make was he going to do the right thing or the wrong thing you know Saul was trying to kill him but and so he could just kill him right there and then he wouldn't have to worry and run away anymore. But that's not the right thing to do. So what David did instead was he decided to snip, snip, snip. Cut a little piece of the corner of Saul's robe and then wait until Saul left the cave. After Saul had gone out of the cave, David followed out after him and held up the little corner of the robe and was like, hey Saul, it's me David. Look it, I have some of your robe in my hand. And he said, I could have killed you. And some people even told me to kill you, but I knew that was wrong. And so I decided to let you live. And Saul was so shocked that David had let him live because if he was in David's position and David walked in and was taking a rest in the cave that Saul was hiding in, I, Saul knew that he definitely would have taken the opportunity to kill David, but that is not right. So what Saul said to David was, David, you are such a righteous man, far more righteous than I am. You are going to be a great king of Israel. And then Saul went home and stopped chasing after David. Ding, ding, ding. There's something really important in this story for us to know about the armor of God, okay? So when Saul said, David, you're way more righteous than I am, that gives us a clue about our next piece of armor that we're gonna learn. So let's open up the Bible to Ephesians 6. <clears throat> It says, stand firm then with the belt of truth fastened in place. That's what we talked about last week. And with the breastplate of righteousness in place. <gasps> That's it, you guys. It's the breastplate of righteousness. The breastplate of righteousness. What is that? All right. So when warriors put on breastplates to protect them, it's kind of like a shield that fits over their body perfectly from their neck to their waist to protect all of the important organs that are inside their chest. Most importantly, it protects their heart so that if something comes at them and tries to hit them, they'll be protected, it'll bounce right off and then their heart won't get hurt and they'll stay alive. So when we put on the breastplate of righteousness, it's, it means that we can make the right choice. Of course, nobody is perfect and we all sin. The Bible tells us that. But there is one person who is perfect and that's Jesus. Jesus came to earth and took the punishment for all the bad stuff that we have ever done. So when we say yes to Jesus, that means that to God we are righteous. The enemy tries to make us feel really guilty for all the bad stuff we've done. He kind of like throws things at us, tries to make us feel guilty. But we can defend ourselves and fight against that by remembering the way that God sees us. So, when the Bible talks about the breastplate of righteousness, it's talking about protecting your heart. You can choose righteousness by choosing to do what's right, but also by remembering the way that God sees you and that you're completely forgiven by Jesus. So now, everybody put on your breastplates of righteousness. Whoosh, got them on? All right, now let's test them out like this. Oh, can you do that? <laughs> oh. Do they work? <laughs> awesome. Now, everyone put your hands over your heart because I'm gonna pray for you. Dear Jesus, 
thank you that you've given us the full armor of God. I ask that every one of my friends at home would put on the full armor of God, that today they would put on the breastplates of righteousness, that they would be able to choose to do the right thing, and that they would remember that when they said yes to you, it means that now you see them as righteous and forgiven. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, you guys, that's the end of Bible time, but now we're going to stand up and worship one more time. So I'm going to call my friends back out here. We're going to worship God together one last time before we say goodbye.